Our question today um, is another one that I have received from more than one viewer. Um, it is a concern about their hair either thinning and or falling out. And they seem to think that it, you know, kind of coincides with going vegan, you know, onto a plant-based diet and wondering if that is just a coincidence or if in fact there is something in a vegan diet that can cause hair loss or hair thinning. Right. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an issue. Um, uh, certainly should not dissuade anyone from maintaining a vegan diet for all sorts of good reasons. A lot, a lot of good things happening in your body, lots of good things happening on the planet for the animals, so every human becomes vegan. Uh, the, uh, I'm willing to go bald for the, to uh, maintain my vegan, <laughs> the, uh, my vegan lifestyle, but uh, I lost my hair due to uh, a hormonal and male androgen reasons, not, uh, not, not out of, for vegan reasons, long before I became vegan. That said, uh, this is a serious question. Uh, and there's no question when, especially a woman, uh, goes vegan, some of them uh, notice some hair loss. Why is that? Well, uh, it brings me back to the late 1970s. I was uh, uh, doing a, uh, a uh, fellowship in obstetrics at University of California at Moffitt Hospital. And uh, I would uh, uh, be working in the obstetric outpatient clinic. Uh, and I opened the door and the entire bench is filled with these women uh, in their uh, late stages of pregnancy. And they were radiant. There's nothing more beautiful than a woman at the end of pregnancy. They've got the wonderful glow. And their hair was just so full and rich and luxuriant. Uh, it was really, it's hard to miss it. I don't feel like being in a garden or vestibule, so these goddesses here. Uh, but uh, they would have their baby and we would see them postnatal clinic uh, and a few of them were distressing that, hey, my hair is falling out um, six months later. Uh, why is that? Well, of course, when a woman is pregnant, uh, then her body is surging with estrogens in all tissues, including her air follicles, and it really makes the hair grow. When the estrogen level drops, um, many of the, the hair follicles will release the hair shaft, uh, and, and the hair uh, shaft comes out, and they notice the hair loss. Um, well, when someone is eating a standard American diet, especially with dairy products, um, the cows are pregnant, cow's milk is full of estrogens. And so the milk and the yogurt and the, the cheese have estrogens in it. And it, it, it causes a biological effects in a woman's body, uh, gives them breast lumps, uh, gives them fibroids, makes the hair grow. But when a woman stops eating dairy, her estrogen levels fall and she can experience the same uh, problem that the uh, my, my postnatal uh, women in the OB clinic did. So the falling estrogen level um, uh, is one cause from stopping the dairy. But the, uh, the plant-based diet is a lower fat diet and fats uh, turn into estrogens. Uh, and uh, all the way around, um, the, the, the usual hormonal drive for, for hair growth um, is less on a, on a plant-based diet. Uh, and so women may notice, not everybody, maybe one out of 10 notices this. Uh, and so one, uh, uh, relax. Um, you want to increase the fats in your diet, another half of an avocado uh, every other day, another handful of walnuts. Make sure you're eating those ground flax seeds and chia seeds. Give yourself plenty of omega-3s uh, and uh, make sure there's enough zinc. Uh, in your diet. Uh, all this is important not only for strong meals, but, but hair growth there. So uh, keep your level of fats up. Uh, and um, sometimes uh, we notice that hair loss is a sign of low thyroid function, hypothyroidism. And because there's so little iodine uh, in the soils now, a, a, a vegan person is eating fish, um, they may wind up with an iodine deficiency that gives them subclinical hypothyroidism. That can cause hair loss. So make sure you've got a sufficient, sufficient iodine source. Don't go overboard and be drinking Luol's iodine or uh, um, you know, eating you know, uh, handfuls of seaweeds here. But a little gob of uh, wakame or arame seed vegetables uh, in your salad a couple times a week a little pinch of iodized salt 
uh, on your vegetables. Um, keep your iodine levels up to make sure your thyroid has enough iodine to make its thyroid hormone uh, is another way to protect your hair. So uh, we <clears throat> don't mourn the hair loss. It comes back. Those hair follicles are still there. The hair will regrow. And nobody goes bald. I don't see any bald vegan women uh, from doing that. Relax. Uh, but I notice it's mostly just due to shifting gears on the hormonal vehicle there. Uh, and your body will, will find uh, a new normal. Just give it enough fats and, uh, and trace minerals. Uh, and that, that hair will come back. And uh, uh, you need worry about winding up uh, looking like I am on top there. So... Uh, uh, hopefully that gives people a little more reason to relax. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.